Hi guys, uh, this is update bit to, uh, to the bit I made about the setup uh, previously when it was running without bypass valve. As you can see the bypass valve is now installed. Uh, what it does or maybe what it is, first uh, it's, a, it's an electronic throttle body from Nissan and what it does it opens at certain RPMs uh, or creating a hole in piping between turbo and supercharger so when supercharger is disengaged the bypass valve opens uh, allowing turbo to suck air through this cone filter right here so automatically uh, we don't have to drag this air through supercharger which was quite hard for the turbo uh, it was a drag simply to, uh, to suck this air and uh, well automatically it gave much better figures uh, on the dyno and you can feel actually that the top end is much much better okay let me guys give you a closer look on this so we have a supercharger right here which is connected with this piping to turbo the idea is that it pumps into turbo and spools it up very quickly and at certain rpms when turbo is fully spooled we are disengaging supercharger so it's not heating up the air and it's also not uh, taking power from the engine because a supercharger is a parasite being driven by the crank belt so when it disengages it's uh, it's uh, i think we have like 20 or 30 horsepower more and uh, this is how much the supercharger takes at the top rpms so when it's disengaged the bypass valve here opens uh, creating a hole in this pipe and at this point turbo is sucking through this uh, cone filter right it's sucking nice cold air which is not heated up by the supercharger and there is absolutely no resistance so when dragging air through supercharger when it's disengaged so dragging air through passive supercharger is uh, well it requires certainly some force and sucking it through open cold filter is much better a little close up from this side uh, well you have to do two things uh, so basically you need to create yourself two mounts so this plate right here is a mount which allows to install the cone filter from the other side you should also have one of those to attach the throttle body to your piping right and that's it i had to cut a little bit of of the chassis to fit the cone filter and as you can see I used also the screw to fully close the bypass valve so it, it uh, holds pressure well let me tell you something about this uh, bypass valve basically it's an electronic throttle body from Nissan and uh, this electronic throttle body is used with three and a half liter V6 engines uh, in Nissan cars like Nissan Murano but it's also used in some infinity cars so basically v6 three and a half liters uh, this is what you want to look at the the price for which you can buy one of those uh, you know it's uh, it depends i got this one for 50 bucks but uh, i see the identical ones that are in theory dedicated to infinities they are like two or three hundred bucks so uh, if you're looking for one of those just look for the best bargain they're really all the same no matter if it's to nissan or to infinity i have uh, i have second one just i bought for in case i want to have a backup so i can give you guys a close-up uh, so it's a typical electronic throttle body uh, what, what is nice about it is that even though it has six pins you can just use two of those to use this uh, throttle body in binary mode so you can use it to be fully open or you can use it to be fully closed uh, it's a Hitachi product take a look at these numbers maybe you will need them uh, but I don't think there are other electronic uh, uh, throttle bodies for V6 3.5 liter Nissan engines so okay I'll give you guys a closer look from all sides how it how it looks it's eight centimeters in diameter so it's very large it's, uh, I think it's even larger than 3SGE 
uh, throttle body. One thing you should know when you buy one of those, by default, uh, those uh, throttle bodies are not fully closed, right? So if you take a look at this, you can see that uh, it's not fully sealed. So uh, at this point, it will not hold your boost. It will not hold pressure. But uh, so first thing you want to do is except for cleaning it of course you use this screw right here and uh, using this screw you will regulate this uh, throttle body to be fully closed fully sealed so regulate this screw until it's so sealed that uh, you can pour a water in here and it will stay right so the first thing you want to do you want to get rid of this uh, you know uh, throttle body being opened a bit. No, you, you want to have it fully closed in closed position. So use this screw until it's fully closed and then you can start further. Now uh, you use these two upper pins, this one and this one, to operate this throttle body in binary mode. So uh, by adding uh, voltage to these two pins, you, you will uh, have this throttle body fully opened or fully closed. I will show you guys in a second. Alright, so I connected the cables to these two upper pins and let me show you guys how it works. It's fully open, fully closed. Fully open, fully closed. Right? So, just remember that this has to be sealed perfectly to hold your boost. So use this regulator and pour a water in there just to check if it's fully closed then then you can proceed uh, okay so just some more additional information uh, because this is electronic throttle body it's operating operated by the standalone ECU uh, I open the throttle body at certain RPMs so it's not actually dependent on uh, vacuum it's dependent strictly on RPMs and I think uh, currently I am opening the bypass valve at about five, six thousand RPMs. And at the same moment I am disengaging the supercharger. So supercharger disengages the same, uh, in the same moment this one opens and turbo starts sucking nice cold air, uh, giving you more power and you know getting rid of parasitic influence of the supercharger. Uh, one more thing, uh, in previous version of the system uh, I was telling you guys in my previous vid that the switchover moment when the supercharger disengaged and turbo starts sucking through passive supercharger is uh, a bit noticeable but not that much. Well in, uh, in this case I have to say it's uh, better, it's better. Even though we are opening this bypass valve at uh, strict RPMs and the moment of switch over so when we actually stop using supercharger and this opens and turbo starts sucking through this hole it's uh, well you actually now don't feel it at all you don't feel it you can see a little spike in boost when you look at the uh, boost pressure pressure gauge but uh, sitting behind the wheel you actually feel nothing. You feel nothing. Uh, well, you, you just notice that the car starts pulling a bit better in top RPMs uh, when the uh, supercharger is no longer working and the and this big boy starts uh, pumping, right? So I have to say uh, that uh, you know there are many opinions on the net that the switch over is problematic because it's uh, it disturbs your uh, line right because it uh, it's not smooth but uh, I really can say so you know even if there is no bypass valve and we were sucking for supercharger the switchover was very smooth and now it's even smoother so uh, I don't think it's uh, it's it's really a problem these electronic throttle bodies they seem to be quite durable uh, and even if it breaks for you you know you can buy it cheap it's not that expensive as I told you earlier it's like 50 bucks maybe even less if you find a good bargain uh, they are used uh, also for other applications uh, people use them to create screamer pipes in exhaust systems uh, also I actually find uh, 
this product uh, looking at some motorcycle forums where people also use it for their bikes uh, for exhaust systems so I think it's quite durable uh, and the very nice thing is that you can use it in binary mode so fully open or fully closed I don't think you can use uh, every electronic throttle bottle like this uh, by using just two pins of the number of pins this uh, particular throttle body has but this one you can use it and it's working quite fine I have used it for quite a, quite a while now uh, I think uh, I can also uh, advise guy, you guys to do the same so that's it uh, I hope you can you guys uh, maybe find it useful so twin charger systems or at least turbo it it's really lots of fun take care